Hey, hello, this is Bob BMP Plumbing again. Had a couple comments. I commented on a valve that the guy was saying was a anti-skull pressure balance valve. This is what they was working with. This is not a anti-skull valve or positive temperature control valve. This one over here is. We'll get to that here in a little bit. Um, you guys commented on having a hard time getting this mixing spool out of here. So I'm going to kind of show you what I do with it. I've had to soak this one for about a day. So it loosened up. The cap actually broke off of it. So we're going to take two fine tip screw, flathead screwdriver like this. Get on each side of it. Give it a little wiggle. Try and move this so you can see it. Give it a little wiggle on both sides. And it does come out. And it falls back in. And there's the old one. This thing has been seized up. There's no repairing or cleaning this thing up. So we're going to crap can that one. This one is actually a mowing one. And when they're clean and ready to go back in, they'll have a rattle to them. That's when you know it's good. Now this particular valve isn't a mowing. This is an old Delta, which I've honestly never seen before. But when there's a mowing valve, this is called, called a mowing troll. And when you take these out, you've got O-rings right here. So take these off before you put any chemicals, anything like that on them. Because it will deteriorate them. And the new one will have a, a new, you know, take everything off this before you do that. This is the cylinder that goes inside this. This is what makes it function. So you want to clean this up really good. Put some plumber's grease or some light oil around these when you go to put them back together. And that's how that works. This, if this was a mowing, this would this car, insert here would be a one two two five cartridge, the standard one. Put that back in there. I'm just doing this to show you how I take them out. And the ones that uh, have a hex head, some of them don't. They have a flat thing on it with tapered sides on each side. Now, the function of the Moen Troll valve is simply water flow. So, if this was a Moen, they're, what they're explaining is it has a temperature memory to it. It's not an anti-scald or positive temperature control. So you're going to warm, get your shower going. This is this will be a push pull type valve. Pull it on water, turn off. And this actually regulates the water flow to this. Now the way they're explaining it, memory control, it doesn't make a lot of sense because to have the correct temperature when you walk in the shower first thing in the morning, you're gonna have to let it run at least 10, 15 seconds for that temperature to regulate. And that will only work if you have a recirculation pump on your water heating system, which means it will bring that hot water right to this immediately as soon as you use it. So that's the principle behind the mowing troll valve and this in this mixing spool. Uh, the second part to this is this type of valve has two integral stops right here, hot and cold. My opinion, don't use it. Shut the water off to the building or to the house. See the corrosion on this? Once you take these out or try to mess with them, there is an O-ring in these. That will break when you try to turn them off and on. That's what happened to this guy when he was trying to do this. So 
So you open this up. There's an O-ring sitting down in there. You can't see it. But there is one sitting in there. Maybe you can't make this close enough. Nah, you're not going to be able to. But there's an O-ring sitting right down in there that seals this little stem. So in the past, when I've messed with these, they end up leaking. So I don't recommend messing with these at all. I would shut the building down. And you're only going to find these valves in apartment complexes, condos, high-rises that have like 10 units. And most of the time on the older buildings, they don't have their own cold water main shutoff valve. So I was explaining that one. Um, I'm going to show you the difference between this one and this positive temp valve in the second part of this video. So please hit the like button, ring the little bell, and subscribe to this. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them for me and I'll answer them for you. But when I soak these, it's either in CLR, which is calcium lice, calcium, <laughs> calcium lime and rust remover. Or you can use a chemical called PB Blaster. And if you want to spray it right in there, let it soak into it. After everything is all said and done, turn the water back on to flush out the system. And put some lube on it, put it back together. And that's it for tonight. Thank you for watching.